All right, today I'm going to show you how to add some above images uh, to a map in RPG Maker Unite using the Unity Editor. It's actually ended up being way easier. I, I was actually getting really frustrated with this, and I actually I made a uh, kind of an angry video, and right after I got done the video, as I was editing it, an idea came to mind, and I, I'm glad it did because I don't like doing angry videos. but um i found where we can get our maps and be able to make changes to them and how we can make those uh work with parallax mapping so basically uh first thing you want to do is you want to be able to go if you go windows uh rpg maker mode and then you have rpg maker plus unity editor um next thing we need to do and i'll show you i've already made them the changes in here but i'll show you how i got there uh, when we go to rpg maker um, and we go to maps. Uh, oh, it's uh, saved maps down here. And this is the one, this is the initial map I'm on. Go to open on the prefab, which is where we're at right here. And these are the two things I added. So we got, actually, let me, I'll erase, or I'll uh, delete these real quick. Okay. So let's see. Uh, actually, I'm going to. Try this a different way and see if this works out better so i've got i created a new folder here so if you go to assets and right click create folder um i got a folder i called map images um you could call it whatever you want uh, and what we're going to do is we're going to add these two sprites um to this map and then get them so that they're above the character uh, when the character walks around so this trees with shadows, I brought it in as a image, um, and then it's not going to be a sprite right away. So you go up here, and it was on default, and you turn it into sprite 2D and UI. Considering the size of my map, um, I had to change it, so I changed it to 4096. Um, so it gets it makes it the high or the highest resolution that it can be. Um, whatever you do, what you want to do is you want to check down here. See, it says it's 1224 by 1100, which is the size that I want it. So I'm totally cool with that. If this is not the size that you want, like let's say it's it's less than the image that you were trying to use with it, then you may need to play with this um, and change it to 4096 or 8192 until it gets where you want it. Um, Let's see, only POT textures can be oppressed if mip maps are enabled. So let's unable mip maps. Always look down here for errors or whatever. So I've got this sprite here. And let's see, will it just let me create a sprite? Yep. So if I drag this on here, it's going to create a sprite, re sprite renderer. Um, and if you notice, it is behind the map. Um, it's really easy to change that. We're going to go here, defaults. And we want to go, I've been doing this runtime map layer D upper. Um, if you wanted the character to be above it, and then this is really cool because you can just kind of move it where you want it. I want to kind of give it a little bit of a 3D effect and go off the map. Um, and then if you want the character to walk over it, you would do it, I think from what I found is if you have map character priority normal or under, then the character will walk on it. Okay, so then we're gonna going to go up here. Same thing. We're gonna oh, let's change the map priority. I'll just put it on D also, it doesn't really matter that much. Um, and then I want to be able to see the character kind of walk under it. Well, let's see. Okay. If you go up here, you can put this on 3D so it's not the the uh camera isn't kind of moving on you. Um, so you're going to actually see the way it is. So I'm pretty cool with that. Uh, other than the lighting, I'm pretty cool with this map. Make sure you hit save. And then if I go into, oh, let's, this could take a second. That's one thing I've noticed is RPG Maker Unite, some of the saves or as sometimes it just kind of locks up for a second as it's running background code which isn't perfect uh and then while it's doing this i'll talk about the one thing that's going to be the most difficult i think is figuring out lighting um 
this asset says it doesn't work with our URP. I'm going to test that and see if it's that's actually correct. But even if it is correct, uh, or if it's not correct, and we can use the URP with it, um, and in if if you don't know if you've not you uh, haven't used Unity before, URP gives us some really great options with lighting. Um, and it would just make it really really cool to be able to use that, and we can, and we can very much use URP uh, if RPG Unite will work with it for the maps. The problem is that the players are on a UI layer instead of on the same layers as the maps um and i'm not sure how to get urp to use with the you know have a light work with uh the ui element so i think it's going to be possible but i'm not sure but anyways let's uh get into this we're gonna hit play bring this up real quick and look at there we got that um and now the one thing is that the collisions are going to work like EM flies uh, region restrictions, um, and those are all going to be done in the RPG Maker editor. Uh, let's see, was it's it's still using this right here, so it's using these ones for passability. Um, I'm not even sure what the other numbers do. All that matters right now is just these ones, um, and that's where able, the character is able to walk on. Uh, and that's, I kind of got the effect that I wanted. Uh, but just finishing up the conversation on the URP thing, if we're able to get that to this to work with URP and with the lights, and if we could, if I could figure out a way to get, uh, oh, and I'll show you here. Let's do this real quick. I'll show you what I mean by it being on a different layer. If we go to, so we're in the scene view, let's take it off a of 2D, right? Where is it not? Oh. That's all we need to get off of. Prefabs. All right. Let's see. We are going to try to find... What is it? New game object. No. Oh. because we need to get into the actual map okay so scene map uh let's see root game object i believe if we right click that click again it's gonna get us oh man are you serious okay let's see okay there we go so if you look at this um this is kind of stupid like i do not like this at all um it has this is a ui element um, instead of being a, like a prefab, that's a sprite based, um, because if it was sprite based and if it was a prefab and it was actually on this map, um, then there's a lot of cool things we could do, especially if we can use it with the URP because we could have a light, uh, in URP, you can have lights affect only certain layers, uh, and like be really specific with where those lights go. So if we wanted to, you know, put a light, um, you know, right here, like, and it's going out and it's only affecting like a range of about right here. Uh, then we could have the player walk up and then all of a sudden just the left side of the character would light up and the bottom of this would light up and it would be really, really cool. Uh, we could also have it so that only affects maybe the higher levels. So it only affects maybe just this layer, um, and not, um, the character layer. So, there's a lot of really cool things that we could do with it, um, but uh, it's just not the way it is. Anyways, that's all I got for this video. It just kind of showing you something kind of cool that you could do, um, and hopefully this is helpful for you.